Hi guys, it's Minna and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. We're back on the Hypixel Skyblock service if you do want to come and join us. I hope you're doing well and keeping safe. And today guys, we have got an amazing episode. We are going to be showing you how to get to Enchanting 50 super far, super easy and actually quite fun with a few little tips and tricks inside that I learned and found out and I think it's really, really important. If you guys don't know why is Enchanting important, well... If you guys have ever played the game, you know that you have to get these enchants, which are the things in blue just there. So you can get them on all your gear. As you can see, there's loads on the swords. There's not as many on the gear. But I highly recommend leveling up enchanting. If you guys are really new uh, and don't know about the combat, there's combat skills which you get. And enchanting is one of them. At the moment, I'm quite low. I'm only 19 because this is something I found out. Uh, and I think it's an amazing thing to have. But as you can see, every time you upgrade, you get more and more enchants. And it's how you can lock more and more things. So I highly recommend getting up all your skills. But enchanting is a fun one to get up with this thing that I found out with a bit of research and a bit of doing. Just before we jump on to doing that, uh, I do want to go over and upgrade my final thing. I want to basically get my personal compactor up. If you guys have been part of any of the previous episodes, you'll know what this is. If you haven't been part of any of the previous episodes, uh, please subscribe. It'd be amazing if you could join the family. And uh, yeah, subscribe. And if you enjoy it, then you can stick around. And if you don't, you don't have to. But please subscribe if you are new. That would be amazing. But yes, as you guys know, we've been working on getting our personal compactor up, which is uh, this little guy here, which you can use to create these things automatically, uh, craft basically. Uh, but we need to get some more slots. So we've been saving up for ages getting all of our redstone. And I believe if I throw this guy in here, I grab these. This should be enough because it also acts as a accessory, so it levels it up. It will bump it up to godly, which is the highest level, and of course you can see we get the more strength and crit damage, which is always a bonus, which is quite nice. So when you click on here, we have now got a lot more slots, so we can get all of our farming things filled up in here, and it just means crafting stuff becomes a whole lot easier. But also, I get to save a lot of uh, redstone blocks, which I'm going to be using to create all my compactors for all of the minions on the island. There's also one other thing. Uh, let's run across here. I do want to start having a go at because if you guys don't know, there's different levels of lava buckets you can get, and using these heat cores, I believe we can turn them into basically a better version. Uh, I don't know how it's set up. I think it goes there, and these do go here. So as you can see, these things will give you a 25% permanent boost on your minion when it's using it. This gives 30%. So. For me, when I'm not always on, I love to use these things as a way to just boost it up. It may be a bit excessive. You probably don't need these. Didn't mean to do that. You probably don't need all of the uh, boost on here, but uh, it, I like to uh, put it on if I can. So hopefully that will save it. It has to be in the middle. Wow, that's, that's pretty precise. We're going to jump straight into the main part of this episode. I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I was waiting to get done on camera. And I will definitely throw them into our snow minions late. Actually, I'm going to do them now. So with our snow minions that are rocking away. At the moment, they're on a 5.2%. And we'll throw this in. And it will probably go up by 5. So we get the 0.2 bonus. Uh, probably not necessary. But it's something that if you can get the extra amount... What I like to do so now I have the minions running all the time as you guys know that's how minions work so yeah brilliant thing we've got all these minions now running at five uh, five seconds that's because of the crystal boost and all the other boosts they've got there so brilliant that is going to be it for all of our bits and tricks around the island but now we're going to jump straight into the episode so first thing you really do want to be getting is getting this enchanting xp boost this is what you get when you do the presents and it's basically a guaranteed boost I can see it's 36 minutes I'm gonna buy it, just use this. Wait, let me drink it. Uh, I may have already got one on. So I've already got, here we go, it's about to finish. Perfect timing, bang. As you see the bottom, I'm now gonna use this, which now gives me 20% extra XP, which is absolutely insane, and I highly recommend getting it. Very essential, very needed for when you're doing any of your grinding. Uh, remember, we get them from all of the presents that we do, because we do them in the end of this episode. Now, you can always come down here, which is down to our enchanting area, and you click on here, and you throw an enchant, any item in here, and you can enchant it. I already did the one I got, but you can enchant stuff, and that will naturally give you um, enchanting XP. But that's a little bit boring. So, what the one thing is I found out about, and this is actually insane, it is a game you can play using this thing. Yeah, it looks insane. Um, not too sure why this thing looks as crazy as it does, but it, it's pretty amazing. So, this thing has got a special name, which I can't remember. Here we go, experimentation table. 
So you have different games you can play. So there's this one which you need level 20 and this one we need 25. These different games that you can play. But what it is, is these are basically games you play that would cost you XP levels to redo it. But by doing it, you get uh, enchanting XP. You can do this three times a day. You do it once for free, three times a day if you want to re repay and it costs you 100 levels and 120 bits. We'll get into bits in a sec. Basically, you click on this thing, and it says it's called Super Pairs, main experiment. Find pairs of items on the grid to unlock them, earn enchanting XP and powerful enchant books every day. So we're gonna click on here. As you can see, uh, enchanting experiment, grid size seven by two, possible pairs, three to five K enchanting XP, 10 to 15 experience bottles and four to five enchanting level four to five enchanting books. I get 10 clicks, requires enchanting 10, starting cost 25 XP levels, which I do not have. But luckily with all of our uh, enchant grinding, we have a lot of XP bottles. So we're gonna smash these down here. I probably should have just gone to 25, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna jump into here and click on this. So we're gonna go straight into this one and we're gonna play. So as you can see, we have 60 seconds, well, we have a bit over 60 seconds. We basically have to pair things up. So if we click here, we've got 12K enchanting XP. We basically have to find where's the other 12K enchanting XP. We'll click here, Grand Experience Vault. So it's not that one. So we click here, we've got enchanting cluster and we've got 5.5K. And then we've got 7.5K and 12k so we've done four clicks at the moment it's not going too well 17k oh my god i can't remember the others i don't know if we've seen that the 17k there you go so we've got that so that's one of the ones we've definitely got then we click here and that was that one so i think that's there there we go so as you can see we have used all of our clicks uh so you'll be quite good but you can see we've got 17k the so 17,000 chance xp which is insane and we've got ourselves a cluster four which is four chance to not consume bait which is basically a fishing thing so i think we're all fully done uh, I don't know why. No, I don't remember how this works. I think we just escape. Okay, so like super experiment states beginner. So just as you start, we found two pairs. We get seventy-five thousand chanting XP for for doing it, and then we get seventeen thousand five hundred for what we found. So states and pairs. So what we do is we claim rewards, and as you can see, the amount of XP we get is insane. So let me just scroll here. As you can see, we went straight up a level, and then also that all adds up together. So we got an insane amount. And if I just tab here, if I can come out chat. Uh, we're already 13% through Enchanting 19, which is absolutely amazing. So we come over to, not collection, but we come over to your skills and here, as you can see, you can fly through these things pretty fast. So already we've got 20,000. As you can see, we need about 100, 170,000. Well, with the bonus of the Enchanting XP added on, you can fly through these levels pretty fast. And like I said, if I click on here and I show you, it goes renew the experiment. You need 100 levels and 150 bits can be used uh, three times daily. Well, I've never used bits on this channel before, so we're gonna head over to Hub and I'm gonna introduce you guys to bits. You may already know what it is, but um, I'm gonna show you guys what we're talking about. So we're gonna head over to the shop and as you guys remember, this is the area where you can get upgrades for, for free. Some of them are free, some you have to pay for. And now there's a thing called a bits shop where you can get all of these crazy things for bits. Well, I've never used bits and this is what you use. You get a thing called a booster cookie. So this is the first one I've ever got, so it's for free. You can consume it and for four days you get the ability to gain bits, 20% skill XP, amazing, plus 50 magic find, you keep your coins and effects on death, permanent fly on the private island, access to the bazaar, uh, AFK immunity on your island, toggle specific potions on and off, and access to slash Andrew slash each. So we're gonna claim this now, and we're going to eat this cookie now. So this is what's gonna give us some special boost. Right click says, uh, duration four days, you'll be able to gain from this cookie. So 4,800 bits is amazing. That's exactly what we want. And just by being on the game is how we get our bits. So by just being on there, you should start to see, depending on how long I sit around for, we will get the bits just come through there. So it is highly recommended getting them. You can buy bits, uh, sorry, you can buy cookies, I think from over here, because you can't be asked to do it. I think there's a way of making them as well now, because for Iron Man, as you can see, okay, 2,250 bits we've already got. So that is exactly what you're after. But if you come over to here and you go to cookies and you go to Insta buy, you can buy yourself a cookie two mil. So if you can make two mil every four days, that would be that sorted. But I think bits are based on how long you stay on the game for. I think that's how that works. So yeah, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, I don't think we get anything else. But I think you get like the God potions. If you don't know what the God potion is, um, it's actually insane. Let me just show you. Just as we're on the topic of doing these amazing things. Um, so of course you can start getting them with Skyblock gems, but go to here and go to this, you can get this and basically consume this potion to receive 
Um, every positive potion that is available, which is insane. So you get 12 hours plus 4 hours alchemy level per alchemy level maybe. 1,500 bits, it's insane. But we're going to head back over to our little mini game because uh, we've now got 250 bits. And we can do ourselves one more competition, one more competition, one more level. But we're going to have to spend 100 levels. So make sure you've got a lot of experience bottles because you'll definitely need them because to get up to 100 starts to cost quite a bit so i'm hoping that should be enough we click on here we should be able to reset cooldown so click on here i can see reset cooldown one of three and we can jump straight back in so we can hopefully get that soon that uh, would be pretty nice so we're going to click on here find pairs of things beginner what do i do here? so level 20 is where the pos everything gets better basically so it costs 50 xp levels but things get better so can i do this not enough experience because i need 25 levels so we can chuck on here, probably too much. But yes, yeah, so as you can see, this is a way in which you can almost grind out all of your enchanting XP. And it's really fun, quite fun game. So we're gonna play this one again. So click any button, we've got only 10 clicks. So we've got gain plus three clicks. Um, wow, that's mad. So we've got that one. 5.5, um, 7.5, Chanting uh, Melon, Grand Experience Bowl, Scavenger. I think I already clicked that one, didn't I? Run experience bottle. Run experience bottle. Nice. Uh, 7.5. 7.5. We've already clicked that one. I think I may have already clicked that one. Uh, that one has to be that one then. Nice. We've got a lot of pairings there. Brilliant. So we can come out of that, I believe. And as you can see, we get ourselves. So click to use 16, found three pairs. So we get a grand experience bottle, the 13 enchanting XP, and we get the 75,000 again. I think that's because it's part of what you basically cost you to do it because you cost you so many levels. So we're going to click on that, bang, and we jump up how many levels? We went up about half of that. So we jump on here, your skills, enchanting. As you can see, nearly wiped out that whole thing again, which is insane, guys. So as you can see, going through this is a lot of fun, and you can get through things pretty fast. So as you can see, we got ourselves a load of grand experience bottles, so I highly recommend doing it. It's a lot of fun. But yes, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. That is how to get your enchanting very fast. As you can see, the bits will add up. Uh, I'm not sure how much it costs for another Rigo. So it costs more each time. But if you've got a lot of money and a lot of time, I highly recommend doing it. We're going to head over to the uh what's it called we're gonna head over to the hub and open up a load of presents and if we get anything good i'll let you know and yeah hope we can get ourselves a snowman unfortunately guys it was not our luck today we didn't get anything very good besides this cluster four book uh we weren't able to get any very good results but that is always it when it comes to doing openings but guys thank you so much for watching today's episode i hope you like it and enjoyed if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and put your post notifications on so you get my videos every time they come up but guys thank you so much for watching today's episode like comment and subscribe if you are new and i'll see you all in the next episode see ya